Mrs. O'Brien, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard, but on Tuesday, when I walked into my office, I opened my door and there were a bunch of snakes all over my office. And I, I fainted right then and there. Did you hear about that? I did. I can imagine that was pretty shocking to and, see that many. And I know some of my friends asked me, they were just paper snakes, Mr. Ortiz. Why were you so scared? But I just have this phobia of snakes. If it wasn't for Mrs. Whitmer, luckily she had a Kit Kat and her first aid kit to wake me up and revive me, I'd still be laying on my office floor passed out. My kids at home and Mrs. Ortiz would be wondering where I was. Can you help me get over this fear of snakes? Yes. Well, one of the cool things about fear is that it's actually your brain's way of protecting you. So when your body starts reacting like that to something that's scary, mm -hmm. um, it's shutting, it's protecting you from whatever dangers might be out there. So you might run, mm -hmm. you might um, faint or freeze, or mm -hmm. you might protect yourself, defend yourself. Yeah, right? we need to protect ourselves from those slimy snakes because I don't want any of their slime all over me. Yeah. But sometimes our brain that tells us there's danger when there's not. So let's think about the paper snakes. What could mm -hmm. they really have done to you? Well, I saw this movie one time where there was a really big snake that ate people. I don't want them to just eat me. I wouldn't want that either. Mm -hmm. But let's think about paper. Mm -hmm. Can paper really eat you? Well, no, of course not. That's silly. Right. So your brain was trying to protect you, but it was reacting to something that wasn't really dangerous. It was trying to protect you from something that's not really dangerous. Oh, yeah. Snakes can be dangerous sometimes. Oh, yeah, they're all venomous. Oh, well. They're all venomous, they're all slimy, and they eat people. I saw it on TV. You did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes our brain, our imagination runs away with mm -hmm. some of these ideas and tells okay. us things are way more dangerous or scary than they really are. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is to find out the facts about it and see how many really are venomous mm -hmm. or what can snakes really eat? Do they eat people? You know, oh, I saw things? it. Yeah? It was in a movie. Not all movies tell the truth, though. Sometimes, oh, that's true. Yeah. Sometimes they're fiction. Okay. So, well, so the first step I should do is learn about snakes? Yeah, you should find out what's real and what's mm -hmm. not so that you you can help train your brain to understand what's dangerous and yeah. what's safe. Oh, okay. Maybe my friends here at McDonald can help me with that. That's a good idea. Okay, all right. Well, I think I know a lot about snakes, but I'll give that a shot, Mrs. O'Brien. Do you have anything else you think I could do to help me get over this phobia? Yeah, the more you spend time doing these different things, mm -hmm. your body will get used to it. It won't seem okay. as scary anymore. Let's think about some different things you could try. Oh, okay. Okay. So, first, we've been looking at a lot of paper snakes, right? Yeah, I don't want to see any more of them. You don't? Not okay. really. Do you feel like you're not afraid of them as much anymore? Well, I don't think I'll faint. Okay, well, that's a step. All right, so you have your paper snakes. Yep. What would be the scariest one that you want to work your way up to? Oh, the scariest thing would have to touch a really a real snake. I don't know if I want to do that, but that would be the scariest thing. Yeah, you might not be ready for it right now, but we'll work our way up there. Oh, man. Those are some big steps, too, by the way. <laughs> yep, you can do it. And then what's something kind of in between? A little bit more realistic than a paper snake, uh -huh. but not a real snake. What would be something kind of in the middle? Like a toy snake? Oh, that's a good idea. So, now that you feel ready to move on past the paper snakes, mm -hmm. we might try a toy snake next time. Getting used to it, telling our brain what's safe, um, and knowing the difference between what's real and what's just our imagination running away. Okay, so... I need to learn about the facts of snakes, and I hope my friends will help me with this. Yeah. Try to get over my fear of the paper snakes by learning or seeing a toy snake. Yeah, spending a, you've, you've spent a lot of time with paper snakes. Uh -huh. I think you're ready to try to be near a toy snake. What if I faint again? We'll be right there. I'll be there to help you. Will you have a Kit Kat just in case? I'll ask Miss Whitmer for her Okay. Stash. So are you saying at the end, for me to really get over my fear, I need to touch a real snake? I don't know, I hope so. Oh. You can do it. Well, Mrs. O'Brien, I'm going to give it a shot. And I know Mrs. Lederman said she's going to have a group and wanted to help me get over my snake fear of snakes as well. So maybe that would be a, another part that will help me with these steps. 
Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Mrs. O'Brien. I'm going to go do the morning announcements and get started with today. Thanks. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. Good morning, McDonald Elementary School. This is Mr. Ortiz with today's hybrid morning announcements. And today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and the Diversity Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to treat everyone as I would like to be treated. I will be accepting of people from all backgrounds and show them respect. I pledge to learn about other cultures and develop an appreciation for everyone's uniqueness. All right, boys and girls. So I just had my session with Mrs. O'Brien as I start my, my road, my path to overcoming my fear of snakes. So that was a great first session. And today, January 21st is National Hugging Day. I'm definitely not going to be hugging a snake. And now that you know we need to be physically distant, we should be doing air hugs. National Air Hugging Day, how about that? Today's word of the day is disposition. It is a noun. A person's disposition is their usual attitude or mood. Disposition. I like to think I have a positive disposition. All right, we have a few birthdays today. We have my buddy, Paul. Kozowski from B25, and then William Teledan from A23. Happy birthday, you two. And then we have Miss Sandy. Happy birthday, Sandy. She's 21, boys and girls. This week's Bulldog Pride Challenge is to do something to make your community a better place. So think about the different places you could do this and the kind of small things that you could do to make a difference in your community. I want to remind everyone once again that the annual yearbook cover contest is underway. Please submit your designs to your teachers or to the main office by February 1st. I've seen some sketches coming through already and they look great. Keep the drawings coming. All right, it's that time. We're going to throw it over to Max, the weatherman Zelensky, for today's weather update. Take it away, Max. Welcome Bulldogs, this is Max. Today is mostly cloudy with a high of 38 and a low of 32. Today is a 50% chance of rain mixed with snow at night. Back to Mr. Ortiz. Wow, thanks Max for that weather update, you've been great. So before we wrap things up, I wanna remind everyone, again, I had my first session with Mrs. O'Brien this morning. And what I like to do, I'm asking my friends, you, my Bulldog pals, Help me gather the facts. You know, in my mind, snakes are slimy. They, they're all venomous and they eat people. So Mrs. O'Brien thinks I need to learn the facts. And I think those are the facts. So let's just make sure that I'm right. So if you can find the facts on snakes so that I have a better understanding of them, perhaps that will be uh, lead me toward my, my goal of getting over my snake phobia. And with that said, I do have a few drawings, not many today because the, the announcements are already going long. First, I wanted to share this from Yasmin from C3, a beautiful picture. And it says, it, this was a writing from her, um, from her classroom. It's Friday, Friday. It's every, it, it is Friday, everyone is happy until the, the weekend. My favorite day is Friday because Mr. Ortiz sings the Friday song. Thank you, Yasmin. I need to talk, have you talk to Mrs. Ortiz. She doesn't like my singing. Here's a beautiful drawing from Nikki to Mr. Ortiz. Thanks, Nikki. And this might have to go behind me because it's so colorful. And then this last one from Genesis, my friend. No snakes. Okay, thank you. Beautiful part and some Kit Kats on the inside. Thank you, Genesis. Again, start sending in your snake facts. Tell me some snake facts that help me get over my fear, but I'm pretty sure all of them are slimy. They, they, they are venomous and they love to eat people. I'm telling you, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Those are all the announcements we have for today, boys and girls. Remember the four Bs plus one, be kind, be safe, be ready, be your best. And the fifth B, be proud to be a McDonald Bulldog. Have a great learning day, everyone. Adios, bye.